Hello guys, Chris here and welcome back to another video in this one my friends I'm gonna be testing a GeForce RTX 3060 Ti in Microsoft Flight Simulator 2020 This one is the Founders Edition model of the card, we are not overclocking it We're running it with the latest Nvidia drivers at the time of recording this video You can check out all of its specs here in TechPowerUp's GPU-Z It's a 2020 GPU with 8GB of GDDR6 VRAM, 4864 CUDA cores And everything else is right here for you to see Over on the left we're pairing it with a Ryzen 9 5900X and 32 gigabytes of RAM and let's get right into it, shall we? Okay, let's start this off at 1080p resolution. We're also going to test this one at 1440p, 4K and 8K resolution. For 8K, I will actually utilize the render scaling here. Down here, you can see that we're utilizing DirectX 11, not DirectX 12 because the X12 is a little bit broken and it stutters way too much. Uh, the X11 is way more stable, although it still stutters a lot. I can't really seem to find the DLSS setting, by the the way guys there are a ton of people that can't find it either with nvidia gpus i have tried reinstalling the drivers from scratch as i always do of course i have tried enabling the x12 i have tried reinstalling the game absolutely nothing works unfortunately so i am not gonna test the lss in this video unfortunately uh, over here we're using the taa anti-aliasing and the ultra settings preset without motion blur okay it's looking pretty good guys i actually installed the spain and port Portugal pack and we're in Lisbon right now by the way it's dropping from 60 frames per second already um, it's getting lower FPS I think than the 3080 Ti and it's probably gonna drop into the 50s yep pretty often I will guess it's probably because I installed the pack and everything is looking way more detailed right now and more accurate to the actual things that you see in Portugal and Lisbon and oh yes oh yes the 25 of April bridge Pont Vincent de Bril is looking fantastic over there. If I manage to turn to see it properly, thank you. Come on, oh boy. I am the worst pilot ever, guys. I'm sorry about this, but uh, I'm here to test <laughs> the FPS. Can I clip through this, actually? Eh, I don't know. Looking fantastic. No, 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 no. Go up, go up, go up. Oh my God, that was close. Okay. <laughs> Jesus Christ, I don't remember this to be so hard to control, guys. Damn, okay. Oh. Oh boy! Okay, everything is fine now. Uh, so we got Christo Ray right here, Christ the King. Uh, apparently that's the tr translation. It, it's accurate actually. Uh, yeah, it's right there. It's looking beautiful. It's looking as it's supposed to look, you know, like in real life. So I am glad to see my hometown finally being well represented. Yes, oh boy. No, 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 no. Oh, oh, we're gonna die. No, we're not gonna die, but we're gonna dive. Yes, I screwed up. All right, we're flying over the stadiums right now. This is Stadio de Luz, as you can see there, I think, if YouTube compression doesn't mess up everything. And it's the Benfica Stadium. And th over there, it's the Sporting Stadium. Alvalade, Alvalaxia, actually. Uh, Stadio José Alvalade as well. Also known as, this will trigger a lot of Portuguese people, <laughs> the biggest bathroom in the world. It's just a joke, you know, don't don't take it seriously, please, Portuguese. I am also Sportingista, so, yeah. <laughs> we got the Aeroport de Lisboa here, the airport. Yes, very nice. I wonder how the FPS will look like in New York City, because these were the FPS that we got in New York previously with the 3080 Ti without the update. So that's the aquarium of Lisbon, looking pretty good. This is super accurate though. I would definitely install this even though we're not getting 60 FPS anymore because of the update. I also installed the USA update by the way and oh boy, the 40s, maybe it's gonna drop into the 30s even, I'm not sure, but it seems like it is pretty much the same. It didn't really change our FPS in this particular city right here, but it did change our FPS by a lot in Lisbon. Yeah, basically it's the same thing as previously, maybe a little bit more intensive because I don't remember it dropping from 30 frames per second, but it's just, it's way too stuttery, guys. Look at those 1% lows once again, it's terrible. However, it seems like they only happen whenever you are flying over things for the first time and then when it loads everything, it's decent again, you know, it's not really that stuttery, oh, it still is a little bit. <laughs> Ah, that's that's not good. That's not good. But hey, we got like around the same FPS around here as Lisbon, I believe. Maybe a little bit lower sometimes because it drops into the 30s. But the experience overall is very similar, although a little bit more stuttery. 
in New York. Okay, here we go. 2560 by 1440 ultra settings. And now we're gonna visit Porto, another city in Portugal first. All right, getting around the same FPS as 1080p, but now GPU utilization is actually finally maxed out. I am glad to see that because yeah, we, this is a GPU test, you know, I want the GPU to be maxed out every single time. Although it's not really possible with higher-end GPUs in Flight Simulator, because this is such an intensive title. So I feel like this is way better than 1080p resolution. Of course, we can't really compare it one-to-one, -one because it's a different city right now. Uh, I don't care about this, just disappear. Those notifications are kind of annoying, actually. But in New York City, we... Wh what? What are you... Okay. <laughs> I don't think that's how bridges work. All right, anyways, uh, in New York City, we're gonna test that in a little bit. We can actually compare it to what we saw at 1080p resolution, and it should be way more GPU bound. Although we can still see a lot of fluctuation there on the GPU usage side of things. Um, so it's, it's still a little bit CPU bound here at 1440p. Oh my gosh, that looks so weird. <laughs> the cars down there. <laughs> um, also, this is a very beautiful city to visit as well. I, I totally recommend Porto. Uh-oh, uh-oh. No, 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 no. Go up, go up. No, 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 what are you doing? What are you doing? Fuck! Flipping hell! But about the LSS, guys, at 1080p we would not see a difference whatsoever uh, with it enabled because the GPU utilization wasn't really maxed out. And over here at 1440 we would barely see an image. Whenever it's at 100% usage, that means that with the LSS um, it would be a bit better for sure. But whenever it is not at 100% usage, whenever we're CPU bound like we are right now, that means that DLSS wouldn't make a difference whatsoever. It would literally do nothing <laughs> to your FPS. It would just lower the GPU utilization even further. So um, that's, that's how it works, okay? Just wanted to say that so many of you understand that DLSS is not really the savior. They should definitely work on optimizing this game and especially these new expansions with uh, the better models and more accurate scenarios to run better on the CPU. Because for a normal gamer, you will want a smooth experience. You know, I'm fine with 40 FPS and some drops into the 30s, but the stuttering is just completely awful and I just can't really stand it, honestly. Um, that's what kills the experience to me. But right now it's not too bad, as you can see. It's, it's ah. Yeah, of course, I say that and it's, it gets a massive stutter. Uh, it's still decent if you want to learn how to do things, <laughs> you know, actual pilot planes. But if you're just here to look at the scenery, like me, it, it's not that enjoyable with all of this stuttering, you know? Very, very big shame to see this, honestly. And this is with a Ryzen 9 5900X, by the way. If you have a 5600X, a Ryzen 5, it will perform around the same as this because the single core performance is around the same as the 5900X and the, the game is not really utilizing more than 50% of the CPU. So that means that the 12 cores... What is happening here? How is this even possible? Are you kidding me? 20 FPS! Okay, well, vegetation areas are super intensive in games usually. I just didn't really expect it to drop this far. It's still playable, don't get me wrong, especially for a, a simulator type of game again. Okay, now at 4K resolution using the ultra settings, I'll actually disable TAA this time because, well, it will just be more taxing on a GPU without the need for it. You know what, I'm gonna go visit Paris right now because that doesn't really have the update that wrecked everything here. So we can actually see how it's supposed to run if you don't install it, I guess. No, the ultra settings are too much. 4k resolution for the 3060 ti guys even without the update yep it is not good 25 well it is actually good <laughs> for somebody that just wants to learn the game and actually play it for the simulator aspect of it once again a lot of people told me that this is absolutely playable with 20 fps so we're above 20 fps all of the time pretty much at least here so that means that it's still playable like this there's the Eiffel Tower. I just, I, the notifications are so annoying. <laughs> Beautiful stuff right here. We're gonna crash, maybe. No, 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 we're not. See, guys, Pro Crisp, the Pro Pilot Crispo is here. Not crashing against things. Very good. 
34. It's very cinematic, I would say. You know? <laughs> You know what, just for a little bit I want to try it out at 8k, just to get it out of the way right now, because that's definitely going to be terrible. Ooh, and then we're going to lower it down to like high and test it again. Yeah, it gets 1 FPS. Oh my god. <laughs> Look at that RAM utilization as well. Uh, is this expected? I guess it is, right? With the 3080 Ti it wasn't really playable either, so... Oh damn, it looks so sharp though. What is happening? Okay. Yeah, it's really good for screenshots, not gonna lie. But uh, you're, you're not gonna be able to align the screenshots or fly the plane around. Oh my god, I'm I'm screwed. Am I not? I, I'm actually pulling up here, but it's not working, guys. Oh boy. <laughs> oh, it worked! It worked, we're still flying! No, we're not, and it, it's, it's, it's wrecking every... Okay. <laughs> Come on, can I go to the settings menu? Oh my... Almost there, almost there. Oh, this is terrible, it's zero FPS. No, it's probably because of the vegetation down there, you know? Oh boy. Okay, can I change the settings like this? It's gonna take a really long time. Oh, I'm regretting making this video today. <laughs> <laughs> All right, we're back to 4K, DirectX 11, high preset, not ultra anymore. Just gonna disable the Peshki motion blur, which always enables itself. Let's start counting our FPS, and I chose to go to New York City right away, because right now I doubt we will actually be CPU bound, you know, because it's 4K resolution, even though it's high settings, it shouldn't be CPU bound. And it's looking fantastic, actually, here. Very, very sharp and detailed with the TAA enabled as well. And uh, it's getting 40s. It's getting around the same FPS as 1440p. The experience is pretty similar, but the thing is, now because the GPU utilization is at 100%, it's way more stable. It's, it shouldn't stutter as much, at least. We're seeing some stuttering issues already, but not as bad as before. They're not as pronounced. Um, so yeah, this is pretty solid right now. And it's New York City once again, so in other areas of the world it's definitely gonna get more FPS. Um, yeah, not bad whatsoever. I would actually choose to play on high settings, I think, <laughs> instead of ultra. I think we should also try it out at 1440p and 1080p at high as well. Yeah, it's so much more enjoyable, not dropping into the 30s anymore around here, even at 4K resolution and not stuttering a lot either, so... Just avoid ultra settings, after all, guys. That's just reserved for, like, the higher-end stuff. 3080s, 3080s Ti's, and uh, the 3090s of the world. Those are the GPUs that you should play with ultra settings in this simulator title. Not 3060s, 3070s. Those can't really handle it that well. I'm very curious to see it here, by the way, in the Central Park area. Wait a second. Oh, it still drops by a lot. Jesus. So now we're down to 2560 by 1440 using the same settings. Oh my. 70 FPS in 60s. Of course, looking back, it will drop like crazy. Yeah, but okay, this is way better than ultra settings. It makes a huge difference, guys. You should definitely play on high. It still looks amazing. You know, I can't really tell much of a difference, if any. Um, you know, I guess you actually got to be comparing the game side by side to see differences between ultra and high settings. Previously, that was not the case. I could actually tell a major difference in texture quality, especially between high and ultra. But now, even the textures are looking pretty decent. If you get close to the buildings, not a problem. And it's getting 60s now. Still CPU bound here at 1440p, by the way, in New York City. But what a massive difference, isn't this? Damn, okay, this is definitely the way to go. I am sorry I wasted so much of your time at Ultra Settings, guys. But I really thought uh, <laughs> it wouldn't really make that big of a difference. Because with the 3080 Ti it didn't, but then again the 3080 Ti was CPU bound even at 1440p ultra settings, so that's probably why. Wow, it stutters way less than ultra settings as well, even though GPU is not maxed out most of the time. And now we should be GPU bound once again, near the trees, not dropping from 30 frames per second, even like from 50 FPS doesn't drop too much from that! Ooh, ooh, ooh. Okay. <laughs> 
And at 1920 by 1080, I think it will be pretty similar to what we've seen at 1440p. Of course, here, looking in this direction, it's not as CPU intensive, so uh, it gets more FPS than 1440p. But then looking back at the city, well, from here, it's not too bad, though. Wow, it's actually a good improvement. <laughs> I think down there it's gonna be pretty similar. Okay, bear with me. <laughs> 50s now. All right, it's getting pretty much the same as 1440 because GPU usage is way down right now and we weren't maxed out at 1440 either. So it doesn't really make that big of a difference increasing or decreasing the resolution when your CPU bound. Look at that, guys, we're right around 69 FPS on average. There we go, we got it now. Ending this with a banger, basically. Probably not, yeah, it's going down now, yeah. <laughs> Stuttering a little bit more than at 1440p because now we are fully CPU bound. But once again, uh, if, we, if with the full GPU utilization we didn't really stutter all that much, that means that if you lock the FPS to like 30 or 40, 45 maybe, uh, so you never drop from that, you know, and it's stable all of the time, uh, it's not going to stutter whatsoever. So I, I totally recommend to do this. And remember, this is in New York City, the most intensive city in the world, I believe. So it's extremely good that we're seeing around 60 FPS on average right now at 1080p resolution. So you got nothing to worry about if you run a 3060 Ti with something like a Ryzen 5 5600X or better. Of course, next generation CPUs should be able to max out this GPU in this game. So I'm curious to see how they will do. I'll definitely be upgrading to a new Intel CPU like 13th gen. I've been on Ryzen for so long, I just want to try out the Intel stuff for once. Uh, and yeah, see you guys in the next one very soon. Hope you enjoyed this one, and I hope it was informative to you. And as always, love you all. Bye-bye.